I am super excited today because I'm going to try this bitter vegetable food from the Philippines called Ampalaya. I'll try cooking this tasty Guinea-sang Ampalaya as well as some very nice marinated chicken leg that I will be preparing in the oven. Welcome back to another Pinoy Planet cooking vlog. Hope you enjoy this one because we're going to make Ampalaya. Like I said, let's go to the store and see if we can find some. Ja, heeft hij ook uh, bitter melon toevallig? So I found ampalaya. That's great. Also, I got the uh, shrimps. These are salted shrimps. And um, I want to try making a special Pinoy Planet version using these tiny little shrimp. Hello. Mevrouw, heeft u onigiri toevallig? Wat was maat? Before we start, let me know in the comments where you're from, okay? Where you're based. I'm very curious. And also, uh, let me know if you like Guinea-sang Ampalaya before we start cooking, okay? So, I also want to know how you make this dish. And of course, when we start cooking, please let me know your tips and uh, how to make this dish more tasty. We'll start with marinating the chicken legs. I think this will go really well with ampalaya in combination. So I'm gonna make my own recipe and show you how I do it, okay? So we have a few chicken legs here and these have already been defrosted. Okay, four chicken legs. I'm gonna just put them in a bowl like that. I'm using this lovely chicken spice mix first. So this already contains salt, so I'm not gonna add too much. Sometimes before I add it too much and it will be too salty But I know about approximately how much to be adding Okay, so like this should be approximately enough Also, I like to use a little bit of paminta To give it some extra spiciness, okay I think this part might be optional But I'm always using a little bit of cooking oil as well Twenty lang A little bit of mantika and this will help to give it more flavor. Finally, chop bawang, tanghang na sili, red. So I made sure to wash my hands, of course. I'm gonna massage this in and then we're gonna leave it for at least one hour, okay? These are gonna be so yummy. It's already time to start preparing the ampalaya. But I'm also a little bit of gutom, so I'm gonna eat this onigiri. Let me know in the comments if you like onigiri, okay? The seaweed is very crunchy and it's really messed it up. I will wash them first from the outside, just with water, <laughs> to get rid of any sand or dirt. Uh, I'm gonna prepare these ampalaya, so not exactly sure how you would do it. I'm just taking off the ends first and then cut it lengthwise. And then I guess we have to remove this inner part since this is uh, not edible, right? Just using a spoon like this. I hope I clean them well enough. I think they look pretty clean inside, right? Like this. Now we're gonna chop them up. I always feel healthy when eating ampalaya. And I'm not sure exactly what they're good for. I've heard that it's good for your blood sugar. And another thing I've heard is that it might be good for cleansing the liver so I'm not sure about that but if you know uh, let me know in the comments okay I'm very curious to what this vegetable is also good for in the meantime I'm gonna preheat the oven at 180 degrees Celsius for the chicken legs next these tiny little shrimps these are salted shrimps I'm gonna put them in a bowl and also add some water on top I'm chopping some sibuyas for the guinea-sang ampalaya. Let me, let me know in the comments uh, about the missing ingredient, okay? Because so far, 
Nobody got the missing ingredient with the last video. Aww. So if you still want to get a shout out, please check the, the link to the video that I will put in the comment section below. Okay? And then you can watch it and let me know what is the missing ingredient that I had on my mind. This frying pan for the Guinisang Ampalaya. The oven is already uh, preheated, so I'm gonna add the chicken legs now. Let's put them on a tray. Like that. One hour long in the middle of the oven. Okay. Let's put them in. Mm. Now let's have a look at the final ingredients. I'm gonna use kamatis. Not sure exactly how much kamatis to use, but I'm using two. I'm gonna also add a little bit of spring onion. I think this will be nice. And of course, uh, sibuyas, bawang, um, Dalawang eat look, raw, raw eggs, and then the shrimp. Um, I, you know, I have this calamansi. Not sure if calamansi is used in this dish. This smells amazing. This is the smell is so good. I recently bought this and it was frozen actually. They don't have it fresh in the Netherlands, but the price is really high. It's so expensive. One is like around 30 to 35 pesos. Okay, so if you calculate this, uh, this price from euro to pesos, it's approximately 30 to 35 pesos each. It's a little bit too much, isn't it? So <laughs> we're gonna also use the cooking oil, of course, and then the ampalaya, as well as some uh, black pepper, at patis, okay? I'm gonna add a little bit of patis. We'll start with adding a little bit of cooking oil. Now it's time for the bawang. Okay, a few gloves of bawang. The chicken legs already smell amazing. Now I'll add the shrimp, tiny shrimps. And that is the time that uh, Poggy arrives. Poggy, you like hippon? Poggy, hippon? Let's just gisa gisa this a little bit. Ang bango. Mmm. It's time to add the onions. Kamatis. A little bit of black pepper. Konti lang. as well as some patis, okay? Also, just a little bit because uh, the shrimp is already salty. Just I'm adding a little bit of patis. Give that a little mix. Now it's time to add our ampalaya. There we go. Again, I hope I'm doing it all right. If not, please also let me know. I'm already preparing the idlok, the lavang idlok, raw. Chicken is getting yummy. Dalawang idlok goes in. I hope it's enough. Let's see. And then a little bit gisa gisa. Mmm. Well, this might be enough. Or maybe one more idlok. I think the amount of idlok is uh, enough. I'm adding some spring onions finally. Now, let's see how that tastes. A little bit of ampalaya with idlok and sibuyas. Might be very bitter. Mm. Mm. It is bitter, yes. I think they're still a little bit um, hard. So I'm gonna leave it for a couple more minutes. And um, then it's pretty much done. Saltiness is good. Uh, taste is good. And ampalaya is uh, quite bitter, but of course we're gonna mix it with rice. Come on, Poggy, let's eat. Poggy, let's eat naman. Sige na, come inside. Poggy, hipon. It's hipon. Come here. Look at those chicken legs. They are so delicious. 
it just came out of the oven you can still hear them making sounds I warmed up some canning Calamansi is still there <laughs> okay so the ampalaya is ready you see it became more soft the texture is better now now hold on for a while there's more yung manok there we go sige kain na tayo thank you so much for watching i hope you like this uh, filipino food ginisang ampalaya and um, please uh, let me know in the comments what you think of it and i look forward to see you again soon maraming salamat po